finally tonight, living in a world of robots. Stephen, your destination is on the left. I think it, it says here. Do you want to text him? So you're running the show. This is your. This is my. This lab. is your headquarters. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been obsessed with uh, robots? Uh, obsessed? I was probably about this tall. Yeah. I mean, uh, I built motors when I was in sixth grade. This fellow is my my original hand, whose name was Ralph. How old were you when you put this together? Yeah, probably 25. I hate to tell you what Noah and I were doing at 25. I mean, it probably was a pretty big deal when you made this. It, yeah, but I didn't realize it. General Motors came to me. And they said, we want one of your hands. NASA has a couple of them that they use to experiment with. Wait, so the NASA and, and, and GM, did they end up buying it from you? Did they? Yeah, so, so this is designed to control a remote manipulator. Now, how old were you when you, well, this is, this is the part of the thesis, 25. Uh, no, no, younger, this is probably 20. When did you finish high school? This is a simulation that we've developed for doctors that lets you feel virtual things and lets, in our case, train surgeons how to do delicate operations. Oh, man, you Oh, I just took off the... <laughs> I, what did I do there? Uh, no, he, took, he got the nerve and he's bleeding like crazy. So okay. he how do we, what, what should we do? Good, now the guy's blind. Okay. <laughs> uh, personal robot here, is there a name for the...? Uh, we like to call her Rosie. Um, okay. Kind of a, a nod to the, the Jetsons. I have a little fear of robots myself. Yeah, it knows that. Can it sense fear? No. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good, yeah. One of my projects has been to get this robot to get Ken a cup of coffee. I had the same internship at PBS. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I never outgrew it, actually. I still, when I go back, they say, uh, they say go get coffee. We don't want to teach people in the coffee shop about robotics. We just want them to hand things to the robot as if it's another person. So what I want you to do is hand the robot the dinosaur. Okay. Yeah. Good grip. And you know the robot's got it. Um, that wants the dinosaur again? Yes, you can if you would like. Okay. Well, I think that's enough. Well, well, just listen right. to that. One of the great things about robots, they're infinitely patient. So the robot's going to keep doing this until it gets the darn dinosaur. It's certainly <laughs> persistent. I don't think I got the dinosaur. He's really that's obsessed with the one. dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, that's, you would be obsessed yeah. with the dinosaur too if you were running an infinite loop no, no, of, I know, caring, I know, yeah. of doing nothing but care about Holy dinosaurs. Gosh. Ken, thank you very much. Good. Appreciate it. Good to meet you. And uh, tell Rosie uh, thanks. Thank you. Okay. You know. she, she says I'll be back. Great.